to another episode of Funke Says. I'm excited, I'm thrilled, I'm delighted to be here again today. We're going to be talking about a, a topic that is very dear to me, destination weddings. How do you plan a destination wedding and why should you even plan a destination wedding? It's becoming a trend now in Nigeria and all over the world for people to leave their home location and move to another location to plan their wedding. And people always say that, is it, is it even necessary? And even if it's necessary, why? And one reason why you should even, even have a destination wedding is this. It can be fun. It can be fun, fun, fun. I can't emphasize that again. And it can also be very intimate. You know, small and intimate. You can have 100 people at your wedding, 80 people, and you can actually have the weddings of your dream. Another reason for you to have a destination wedding is that it can actually be cheaper. Did anybody hear that? It can actually be cheaper. Yes. Because you know what? You can have a wedding of a thousand people and it can be more expensive. But having a destination wedding of hundred people it will save you loads of money. Yes, I can tell you that. Another reason why you, sh you can have a destination wedding, you know, is that it allows your friends and family to plan a mini vacation. A mini holiday, a mini getaway, a mini trip. So those are a few reasons why you should plan a destination wedding. A few factors to consider when planning a destination wedding. Number one, consider the location. Is it a location that your friends and family can get to easily? Is the visa easy to get? Or do they have to wait for a long time to get the visa? Or, is it very or how difficult is it to get the visa? How about the tickets? Is it gonna be very expensive to get the tickets? Or are the tickets, can you maybe arrange a way for them to get cheaper tickets? Is it also an area where they even know? Is it on the map? Of course it's on the map. I'm only joking. But really, is it a place that people will want to come to? You know, we've talked about having a mini vacation. So is it a place that people will even have a mini vacation at? Can they bring children if they need to? So these are some things that you can actually consider when you're choosing the location. Another factor to consider is probably it will be ideal to hire a planner. A planner in the home country you're going to. You, some people, for some people, they take a planner from their home country and they take it to the, loca the destination location. Do you want to consider that? Or do you want to hire a planner that is based in that location? Hiring a planner in your home country has its advantages because the planner in your home country actually understands your, the culture of the people coming from your home country. Another advantage of having a planner in the destination country is that they will help you get good deals. They will help you get good rates, good deals in the hotels. But you know what? Hotels actually have made it good for you. You can actually approach the hotels directly to get good packages for the event. <music> Number three point, you need to arrange travel. Now, a lot of people forget this part. It's important that people can get good deals with the airlines. So you can imagine if you approached a few airlines or even travel agencies who are experts now in destination weddings. They can get you good deals, group discounts. You can actually even arrange group discounts. You get a cheaper rate for these trips. All your friends and family can actually apply for these discounts, whether it's business class, first class, or economy. They will arrange a package that suits each person's preference, even down to the hotels. They can help you negotiate good deals on the hotels. Number four, in some countries, insurance is very key. You need to understand that in this country that I'm going to, what is their insurance policy. You need to secure your vet wedding. Now, it's not a, a trend that we not really do in Nigeria right now, but a lot of weddings abroad or even internationally, they are insured. You need to make sure that what covers you if anything happens. In some countries, it could be a hurricane that can come. What happens to you? It's very important that you actually insure your wedding. Number five tip, how are you going to budget for this wedding? down to your decor? Are you going to have the ceremony in the same location? Or is the reception and the ceremony, are they going to be in different locations? It's very important. That will help you in budgeting. Down, even invitation cards, all the things that you require for this destination wedding, it's very important to actually start budgeting for them. Number six tip, you need to tell your friends and family on time. You know, a lot of us always say that, you know what, I'm going to tell them two months before the wedding. No, two months is too late. Tell us six months before. We want to know. We want to plan. We want to be able to save for your wedding. Now, you can have a save the date. You may not want to tell them the location. You may not want to tell them where it is. 
But just let them know that, you know what, we're getting married and it's not going to be in Nigeria. Six months, five months before, four months before, people can start planning, they can start locking it down in their calendar. Then as time goes on, you can now start sending them emails for them to RSVP, for them to tell you if they're coming or not. This allows you to plan properly. <laughs> Tip number seven, legalities. You need to ensure that you are covered on every side on the legal side. You need to make sure that the wedding, the license you're going to get for the wedding is valid. You need to also make sure that you check the legal contract of all the vendors you are hiring. What is the cancellation policy? What is the hiring policy? What is the deposit policy? What is the balance policy? You just need to make sure that you've checked all the contracts. You don't want to come back to your home country and realize you were never legally married. <laughs> that would be bad. So you need to check that. Number eight, you need to make your guests feel extremely welcome. You know why? They've left their homes to come to your wedding. So you need to make sure that you organize a fantastic itinerary. Make it a three-day weekend. Fun activities, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Send them a welcome note that has all the list of all the itineraries of things that they're supposed to do. So on Friday, what do you do? Do you want to go on a boat cruise? Do you want to go to, to a fun club? Do you want to go dancing? On Saturday, what happens to them in the morning? Do you all have breakfast together? On the day of the wedding, what happens? The day after, is there an after party? Is there a, a, a going, are they going to go sightseeing? Make the weekend fun. Now, number nine, a lot of people are going to be wondering, she's not going to be talking about that yet, or when is she going to do that? Now, the wardrobe, yes. A lot of us always like to get, you know what? We want to look snazzy, we want to look lovely, we want to look stylish. And we also want to be the best. Now, what do you do? Consider the weather. Anywhere you're going, you need to make sure, what do they wear in that country? Is it a country that they allow you to wear shorts? How do you dress? What is the culture in the country? So it's very important to research. Pack your wardrobe, pack your clothes to reflect the destination you're going to. For the couple, or for the bride and for the groom, I mean, they can literally wear anything. They're the couple, you know. But of course, you two want to also look special and fun. These are for your guests. So it's very, very important that you let people know by even when you send them information about the country they're going to, they can research on the kind of wardrobe and clothes that they can wear for the big day. That's very key. And of course, you can also hire beauty consultants, stylists, all in that home country. They're all available. Because as I said, destination weddings are becoming the trend. So it's your wedding, have fun, have loads of fun, and you know what? Get the fire destination weddings to be at your wedding. Watch out for the next episode of Funke Says. Bye!